Is it vandalism or is it free speech? Someone is defacing the law enforcement memorial in downtown Wichita with messages saying things like dead cops need no water. Disrespectful, but is it illegal? You may be surprised. Fact finder investigator Haley Tucker finds the city of Wichita says it is legal because it's in chalk. Haley. Mike Rachel, a concerned viewer, emailed FactFinder about this issue. They showed us multiple pictures of these writings on the memorial and said the city of Wichita says this is legal because it's written in chalk and it's protected speech by the First Amendment. But we looked into it and found in the city's own ordinance, it states this is a misdemeanor. So take a look. Here are some of those writings on the memorial. We couldn't show you all of them due to the language. Backfinder sent an email asking if the city is stating that this is legal. We sent that email to city manager Bob Layton, Wichita Police Chief Joe Sullivan, Mayor Brandon Whipple, city council members and more. Chief Sullivan and city councilman Brian Fry were the only ones to reply with a statement. Chief Sullivan says in part that it's disturbing to members of the department and extremely hurtful to the families of fallen officers and says, quote, Unfortunately, the legal guidance we have received is that so long as temporary chalk is used, the vile language posted is protected speech under the First Amendment. He goes on to say, let me be clear, though, should anyone ever do or even attempt to do permanent damage to the memorial, that would amount to criminal behavior and the perpetrators will feel the full legal weight of the combined criminal justice systems of Wichita and Sedgwick County. City Councilman Brian Fry responded today saying, quote, I appreciate and value free speech, but to desecrate a memorial is vandalism in my eye. Doesn't matter if it's chalk or not. So we pulled these city ordinance. This is what we found regarding defacement or damage of property by graffiti. It states, quote, any person who writes, sprays, scratches or otherwise affixes graffiti upon any property, public or private, in which another has an interest in without the consent of such other person shall be guilty of a misdemeanor. And the city of Wichita's ordinance defines graffiti as, quote, any unauthorized writing, inscription, word, figure or design, which is marked, etched, scratched, drawn or painted on on any structural component of any building structure, fence wall or other facility, regardless of the nature of the material used in its application or upon which it is applied. All right, so Haley, it boils down to chalk. So it's saying the city says it's legal because this is chalk, but what stops people from defacing other property, even buildings, for example, with chalk? Because it's technically removable. Right, so those were big questions that we asked. And right now, chalk is not defined in the city of Wichita's ordinances, but it would fall under writing materials. I asked Chief Sullivan about what stops people from continuing to do this to other buildings, like you yeah. said. He says it might continue to happen, but regardless, WPD will enforce the law in a fair and consistent manner. All right, thank you, Haley.